These scientists work in the lab of Juan Carlos Espasua Belmonte. They want to find ways to turn genes on in living organisms to fight disease. It is not gene editing, although it involves a gene editing tool. This is your DNA. This is your DNA on CRISPR. The gene editing tool CRISPR-Cas9 can be directed to cut DNA in specific places. It combines a GPS feature, guide RNA, with a cutting feature, Cas9 enzyme. The two can be packaged inside a virus to be delivered into cells. But this genetic cut and paste risks causing permanent DNA damage. So another approach is epigenetic. Epi meaning above. It is a way to turn genes on or off without altering DNA. It is not permanent. Salk scientists wanted to modify CRISPR-Cas9 and use it to make epigenetic changes. The team used modified guide RNA to keep the GPS feature of CRISPR but without a cutting property. At the same time, they attached gene switches to the CRISPR system so it could turn genes on. However, this made the whole package too big to fit inside a single virus for efficiently delivering into living organisms. So the Salk team had the idea to split the components into two packages. One virus package containing the Cas9 enzyme, the other virus package containing the GPS system and gene switches. In theory, the packages would work together after being injected into a patient. The team tested the system on mice with a form of muscular dystrophy. It's a disease that causes muscle weakness due to a faulty dystrophin gene. But instead of trying to repair the faulty dystrophin gene, the Salk team used their technology to turn on a similar gene, called eutrophin. Results showed that mice with the treatment increased in strength and muscle mass. Their health improved. The team also tested elements of the system to turn on genes that help relieve kidney damage and to convert ordinary liver cells into insulin-producing cells in a diabetic model. There were promising results in mice in both cases. The Salk research shows that CRISPR-Cas9 can be modified to activate genes in living organisms without changing their DNA. It is an alternative to gene editing, but can be ideally targeted to any gene without causing permanent changes or damage.